What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a valve adjustment on my Clark forklift. It's got the Waksha D155 engine in it. Um, the forklift is a C500Y50 model. I have no idea on what year it is. But I just finished doing a head gasket replacement on this motor. Um, and during it I replaced quite a few valves that are out of spec, all the seals. Um, and so I just want to go back and double check the valve clearances after I ran it for a few hours and just make sure that everything's still within spec. Um, I did not make a video for the head gasket replacement because it was my first time doing the job and I didn't want to steer anyone wrong as I was learning myself. But with that said, I'm pretty confident with the job now, so if you're watching this video and have any questions regarding a head gasket replacement or anything around that, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna pop the seat up, get a view with the motor and start pulling the valve cover off. All right, so we got the, the side cover opened up. We can open up the seat, and then right front and center, we have our valve cover. Um, so we're gonna grab a 9 socket and just take those four nuts off. And each of them should have a little copper crush washer under them to seal it. Well, so that aside, I'm just gonna leave the gasket on there. I don't wanna, it is a new gasket, so it should be easily to, easy to come off, but I don't wanna risk um, ripping it if it's stuck too hard to the head. Um, so next, we're gonna jump over and look at the manual, and we'll be able to figure out what um, the tolerance or the spec is on all of these valves. All right, here's the manual. If you're doing any um, big work on one of these forklifts, I highly recommend buying this. Um, when I was doing the head gasket, it gives you a pretty easy walkthrough of, um, in this case, a head overhaul. And if you ever want to dive much deeper, it has a lot more information. Um, but we're going to go to, I have it bookmarked here, the specs. Um, and right here we have valve timing clearance intake and exhaust and so for the intake we have 21 thousandths of an inch and for the exhaust we have 24 thousandths um, so we're going to grab some feeler gauges and we'll jump back over the forklift all right so with the valve cover off we can see all of our valves um, the manifolds on these motors are a little confusing so it's hard to tell which valves intake and which one's exhaust just by looking at the the manifold coming off of it um, but Another way you can tell is the exhaust valves will have a roller on top of the spring. So we know now we have exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. Um, so we're gonna start with the frontmost cylinder and I'm gonna turn the motor over just by grabbing the fan, but I just like knowing that I'm going the correct way. So I'm just gonna blip the starter um, and confirm which way the motor turns over so I know that when I'm watching the valves do what they do, it's going in the correct order. Um, so I'm just gonna start Spinning the fan and watching those front valves. So we can see right now the exhaust valve is opening. Once that shuts, the intake valve will open. And once that intake valve shuts, um, I'm just going to spin it a little bit past that. But once that intake valve is shut, we have um, quite a bit of time until the exhaust valve opens up again, because it has to go all the way down, all the way up, all the way back down. Um, so now both of these should have play in them. So that means the valve is completely shut. Um, and we are gonna grab our feeler gauges. We'll start with the exhaust. We have our 24 thousandths. And you, you really wanna make sure that you're going in um, straight it's really easy to put these in on an angle um, and so that's a little bit more snug than I'd like so we're gonna grab a 9 16 wrench put it on that keeper put it on the jam nut break that sucker free so since that 
clearance was too tight to my liking, we're gonna loosen the screw so that's gonna allow this to drop, the, the rocker to drop back farther. So I'm just gonna set my flathead on top of that and we'll just loosen that a tiny bit. It does not need much. We'll snug that back up and then we'll check it one more time. And that's good. So that just has a real slight drag going across it. Um, and I like to do it a few times just to make sure I'm staying straight and level. So I think that's good. I'm going to snug this up just a little bit more. Check it one more time. And I like that one. So now on the intake side, we have our 21 thousandths. And uh, that feels real good, so we're going to leave that. So moving down the line, we'll go to the, the second cylinder, start turning the motor over again. So we see the exhaust opening. The intake opening. Now they're both shut, so we'll just give it a little bit more of a turn. And they're both good. So on this one, we're going to start with our intake. Do 21 thousandths. And that's pretty tight. Loose. And that feels real good right there. So I'm going to go to the exhaust. I think that's a little bit too loose. Alright, that exhaust is good. We're going to snug those two up. And just check them one more time. Good. Good. Moving down the line, we got cylinder number three. The exhaust just opened. Intake is opening. Intake is shut. We got slap in both of them. So start with exhaust. It's a little too big. All right, that feels pretty good. Move to the intake. That one's also too loose. Alright, there we go. Slight drag. Like drag, so they're both good. Continue on to the last one. The exhaust valve is opening. Intake valve is opening. Take the valve shut. I 
We've got a slap in both of them. So starting with our intake, 21 thousandths. Just a little bit loose. Real good. Exhaust feels good. Make sure it's snug down. All right, and now all the valves are adjusted, so we'll just go ahead and throw the valve cover back on. We'll start it up and make sure everything runs smoothly. All right, so we'll throw the valve cover back on. Um, if you haven't in a while, it's probably a good idea to take these four bolts out and clean out your crankcase breather. Um, and mine and most of them is just a wire mesh that catches some of the oil and uh, then releases the gases to the atmosphere. I just did it when I was doing the head over overhaul, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, so we'll throw this guy back on there. get all of our hardware. Good. I'll get the panels closed back up. We'll fire it up and see how it runs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions about this forklift that I may be able to answer, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best. Thanks.